Good job, Fusion here. Back with another reaction video. Uh, James Harden, uh, he he went off on Daryl Morey, calling him a liar. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and just You've been following get started. Drama with James Harden and the 76ers. Well, it took yet another turn just hours ago. Over the weekend, we learned that the Sixers decided to end trade talks involving James Harden, and then hours later, it was reported that Harden still wants out of Philadelphia. Well, then early this morning, when speaking at an event in China with Adidas, James Harden had... Yeah, just real quick, I, I could think of a couple teams who could use someone who plays like James Harden. I'm a scorer who can also double as a um, point guard. Um, he's still one of the best scorers in the league um, has a crazy bag a, a lot of teams could use that either coming off the bench or being a quality starter um, so yes the, that's the good things that I really wanted to get to now let's go ahead and talk about the fuck shit this to say about the Sixers and their GM Daryl Morey Daryl Morey is a liar and I will never be a part of an organization paid for me let me say that again Daryl Morey is a liar, and I will never be a part of an organization that he's a part of. And that's how you destroy your chances at joining a team. I don't think a lot of teams will be willing to pick you up because you aired this out live. You aired this out for everybody to see. There's a proper way of handling stuff like this. If you want to continue to be a... a integral part of a lot of teams you can't just be going to china and then saying just whatever the hell you want especially stuff like this he's obviously not going to get any like true reper uh true repercussions but he's going to be looked at sideways he's he's going to be looked at as how you niggas should have been looking at um or how or how kyrie irving shouldn't be looked at i don't think kyrie irving is a cancer like this guy this is not the first time that he has wanted out of an of an organization and is willing to cause a whole lot more issues um like to try to get out than to stay in he is he will destroy everything just to get out you don't want to play with that. You don't want someone like that on your team, no matter how good they are. And he's he's going to do all this just to be out second round again. It's the let me do this again part that I think gets us all right. Here's a look at Harden's history with said Daryl Morey. A reminder that Harden was acquired by Morey-led teams on two separate occasions. These two go way back. It was 2012 with the Rockets and then in 2022 with the 76ers. Harden has also opted into his player option already. That's worth $35.6 million for this upcoming season in Philadelphia. As we welcome Amber Wilson here with us. And Amber, I'll start with your first. I, this was jaw dropping, I thought. This sound coming out, you know, of China this morning. Who the fuck are these people? Who are these people? What was your reaction to what James Harden said? I'm surprised that your jaw was dropped, Shay, because I feel like we should have all seen this coming. We've seen the prequel to this thing, right? We haven't seen the exact movie, but we've certainly seen the prequel. In fact, we've seen multiple prequels because stop me if you've heard this one before. James Harden, a souring relationship with the front office, wanting out of a franchise, trying to force his way out. We have seen this thing before. Also, from the 76ers perspective and Daryl Morey's perspective, a disgruntled superstar, a big name, where the relationship has soured and now they are at a trade standoff. We've also seen that movie before. So how, who could have seen this coming? Everybody could have seen this situation coming and this relationship souring between these two. That boy geeked up. From Harden's perspective, <laughs> Then he sort of looks like James Harden. But, um, yeah, bro. This is nothing new. This is always what James Harden is going to do at some point. He is one of those type of players who, if they want to leave, they're going to make them known that they want to leave and will force their way out. 
they don't give a damn who they shit on or who they hurt. It just really, really doesn't matter to them because they want to get out. Um, yeah. Again, man, not surprised. That's just what, what they do. What he does. Crazy, bro. It seems like he thinks that there must have been some sort of unwritten agreement here. Hey, I'll opt into my player option and then you guys will trade me because we have a good relationship. From the 76ers perspective, Daryl Morey has showed time and again he is willing to be incredibly patient in trading a player. He wants the highest return that he can get on a player and he's not going to just give James Harden to the Los Angeles Clippers, which is where we all know that James Harden wants to be. So this to me, very predictable situation. Amber, I, I love the fact that we're not having a debate because I fully agree with you, but I'll, I'll, I'll go from the perspective of, of having some conversations and then thinking about just contract negotiating on, on that level. This was personal. There's a difference in being disgruntled with a franchise and being disgruntled with your situation than that being it being that personal. He mentioned Dal Murray by Murray by name. Yep. Okay. And this is a relationship that has been very beneficial for the both of these guys throughout a long period of time in James Harden career and Dal Murray career. James Harden was the three-time scoring champion in Houston. And Daryl Morey was the guy that believed in these analytics and statistics that, that has inflated the NBA about guys getting three-point shots up. James Harden has made over $300 million in the NBA. Daryl Morey has been a part of that for at least eight of those years of his career, I believe. So when you think about how he said it in China, where he knew that this would go everywhere immediately in front of people, uh, might I add, not in front of cameras, in front of people, might I add as well. So when, when you think about everything that has transitioned with James. Yeah, um, he's just going to talk about how shocking this is. Harden is going to do what? Feel bad for Joel Embiid? No, I don't feel bad for Joel Embiid. Um, you get who you get. You don't be surprised when they do what they always do. I've always said that. I feel like um, this should be pretty on par with what this guy does. He is one of those players, man. One of them players. Yep. But that's pretty much all I got for you guys. I mean, I don't... Eventually, James Harden is going to have to figure it out on how uh, he can't be on no crazy stuff like this and expect to get um, some sort of help. Um, he's, he's being a douche. He is actively trying to ruin this team, actively trying to slander this guy's name. If he is a liar, then that's okay for you to think that, but you can't just spew that, especially to everybody else and I just I don't agree with how he handled that it could have definitely been handled a whole lot better um, if you're mad about something then I get it you, you can be mad but I don't think you should shit on your prior employer and someone that apparently you're cool with so I don't know I just think that's so crazy but that's pretty much everything. Uh, that's all I got for you guys today. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.